Hi again guys, this tutorial is going to be all about how to solve the cubic 3 by 3 by 5 uh, This is a puzzle made by cube for you as far as I'm aware they're the only ones that make this um, It's a great little puzzle this, I, I thoroughly enjoy this little puzzle um, Strategy wise what we're going to have to do is solve it just like a Rubik's Cube to begin with to bring it back into its um, cuboid state where we can actually rotate these individual layers and then we'll be using cuboid algorithms um, to solve it from there on so if you don't already know how to do so I, I suggest you go and um, learn the beginners method for the Rubik cube you will be needing some of the stuff you've learned from that to be able to solve this um, I don't want to go into full details of how to do that as well so if you don't already know that then please go and learn that first um, when it comes to this puzzle you do need to be careful about how you scramble it you can't just scramble as you would a 3x3 three three from, right from the word go otherwise you're not going to be able to um, split up these pairs of individual uh, item, uh, these individual layers um, once you've scrambled it that way so you do need to make sure you scramble that first so what you need to do is make sure you turn these but only do 180 degree turns on this layer so I'm going to go ahead and do that now we'll get it a really good scramble obviously you need to make sure you scramble it as well as you possibly can you don't want to make things easy for yourself um, you want it to be as challenging as it can possibly be that's the whole fun of doing these so yeah make sure you do lots of twists and turns on these smaller layers while doing 180 degree turns on the other layers on a regular basis and yeah I think that should about do it and once we've done that we will scramble it like it's a regular 3x3 three three Rubik cube as well so let's get on with that now get everything as mixed up as we possibly can and yeah I think that should just about do it as scrambled as we're gonna get okay so as for strategy this here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna solve the white layer um, when I say solve, I'm not going to worry about what colours are around the edges because that's going to get mixed up while we're doing the inner layers anyway uh, with the cuboid algorithms. We're just going to get it back to a state where the whole of this face is white. Then we're going to solve the centre layer. Then we'll get the, the whole of this face to yellow to return to cuboid state. So that's, that's where we'll start off. So all I'm going to do is create a cross of white blocks and then fill in the corners and the last one so as we see on this layer now we can turn all the, the individual layers so that's what we need and then we're going to solve the centre layer now this layer we are actually going to solve completely so we we'll us start off with the red green which goes here I'll put that into place um, you don't necessarily have to move, use the same method as I use to put that into place just use whatever method you use to solve the Rubik's Cube to put that, the centre layer pieces in um, of course you could always use F12 if you really want to do speed solving or anything like that I don't worry about it when I'm doing little puzzles like this put the green orange one in there the orange blue goes over there yeah I just use the um, beginner's method for these kind of things I'm, I'm not into solving things as fast as I possibly can and the final center layer piece goes there and that's that so now all we need to do is get the um, top layer oriented so use the normal if you do use beginning method or OLL then that's fine but just get it so that all the pieces are facing up the yellow pieces that's all the centers and that's the corners so there we go we're back into cuboid shape the center layer is already solved um, and from yeah here on we'll, we'll move on to solving it just the same way as we do any other cuboid so what we're going to do is obviously the center layer is already solved so we're going to solve the two 
small layers that, that are adjacent to the centre layer and we solve them just the same way as we would a uh, regular domino. So first of all we need to get our cross, we've got an orange piece in place there so we'll use that one there. So obviously we need a blue here, we haven't got one on the top layer so we find one, on, we'll do a different colour for now, we'll put green in place and that gives us a blue on the top layer so bring the blue side over to the right and put that one back into place. What you need to be careful like with other cuboids is make sure you have um, used the same workspace over and over again because if you do that and then do it elsewhere you end up mixing up your centre layer so whenever you do a right turn always do it on this same layer so you're just messing the same side up and putting it back again each time you do something so we've got green, orange, blue in place, we just need the red so that's the red so that's essentially like our cross on uh, on a domino cube so we start working on the corners so we've already got the red blue in place there so that's good so let's see if we've got a red green in this top layer right, we have got a red green but it's actually the wrong one you need the ones that's opposite colours so if you need a red sticker on the green face and a green sticker on the red face this is the wrong one so we haven't actually got the correct one in, on the top layer let's see what else we need blue orange we haven't got that one either uh, orange and green have we got that one yes that, we've got that one there but obviously we need to bring those round to our workspace which is here so bring that to the front right and the place where it needs to go to the front right with the orange there and green there we've got the opposite colours as you can see orange is on the green face green is on the orange face and we do our normal uh, cuboid algorithm for bringing corners down to the bottom layer which is now remember when I say you on this one I mean I'm turning the top two layers together as one because we're solving this layer not the top layer so R U R U prime R that puts that green orange in place and um, we see what else we've got we've got we might have a green red that we need now so let's just put everything back where it belongs so we don't get confused we need a green red, have we got green red? Yes, there we go, we've got the right green red now. So green's on the red face, red's on the green face. Form the same algorithm again. R, U, R, U prime, R. That's that one. And that just leaves us with the blue and orange. So bring that around into our workspace. The piece is we need is above it with opposite colours. Orange on the blue face, blue on the orange face. When I'm saying orange face, I'm looking at the, the what are essentially our cross pieces on this bottom layer, not the what the centre layer is. And one more time, R, U, R, U prime, R. Turn it around to the quick place, and you can see that whole layer is now done. So we move on to our top layer of the of the domino we're doing at the moment, and we're looking for what we call headlights, where it's, which is two corner pieces with the same colour showing. And as you can see, we've got. Um, two reds showing there so we put them into the correct position and put those on the left hand side of the cube and then we're going to do the corner swap algorithm which swaps the two corners on the right hand side so the algorithm for this is R U R U prime R now remember when I I've actually been saying it a bit wrong I should be saying R2 on this one because um, it can rotate 90 degrees on this puddle so from now on I will say R2 let me just put that back in the state it was before I started and from now on I will say R2 instead of R okay so need to swap these two corners as I said we've got the headlights on the left hand side the two that we need to swap on the right hand side so it's R2 U R2 U prime R2 U prime, D prime. Remember, U and D are the, the pieces that are adjacent to the centre layer. R two, U prime, R two, U, R two, and that should solve all the corners of this layer. Line everything up. Uh, we've actually got a fairly easy situation here. All we need is an adjacent edge swap on the red and the green, and to solve for that layer. So that's R. R2, U, R2, U, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U, 
R2, U prime, R. Now that's solved that layer, but as you can see, what that's actually left is this um, situation here where the red and green and the red and orange are slightly out of kilter of where they're supposed to be. Now this is basically a, um, akin to the parity situation that you um, get into with the 3x3x4. Uh, but it's slightly different because there's only one layer swapped. Now I like to do this now because otherwise it just means doing it at the end of the puzzle instead. I just like to get it out of the way. Um, the algorithm is easy. Um, you should, if you've done the 3x3x4, three by three by you'll have come into contact with this algorithm plenty of times before. Um, but because there's only one layer as opposed to splitting, what you normally do is split the two layers when you do the first U2. Because there's only one, you split it above the one layer that you've got to do and it, it is done slightly differently. So you do R2, sorry, <laughs> U2, splitting above the layer that needs to swap, 2R, 2F, 2U, 2F, 2R, 2U, 2F. And that puts everything in place, as you can see. So then we move on to doing our top layer and bottom layer, and that's all that's left to do. Okay, so what we need to do first, start off by making a cross on the bottom. We've already got the blue in place, so we'll leave that there, and we'll work with the rest. So we've got, um, where's the white red, which is there. Turn it to above where it needs to go, and just rotate that side 180 degrees, 180 degrees. We'll turn the green side over here into our workspace, the white green piece into our workspace, and do the same again. Line up the bottom so we know where we are. We've got the um, green, blue, and red in place. We just need the white orange, which is there. Flip that over into play, into position, and then we can start on our corners. Now what we've got on the top, we've got white, red, and blue here. So we'll put that above where it's there. Bring the um, white, red, blue spot to the corner so it's beneath it and do the regular corner algorithm which is R2 U R2 U prime R2 and that's that in let's get everything lined up and so we can see where we are what else we've got we've got white red green on the top there so that goes above that place there we haven't got a workspace at the moment here because everything's sold so we don't need to worry about that and just do this algorithm to bring the piece down there so it's R2 U R2, U prime, R2. That gives us uh, some green orange there. Bring the green orange slot so it's beneath it in the workspace. And R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. Then line everything up. And finally, we've got the white, blue, and orange. Bring it to so it's above the spot where it needs to go. And one more time, R2. U, R2, U prime, R2. That's the white side sold. So now all we've got left is the top. So again, we look for headlights, and we see we've got two blues there. So we put those on the left hand side. But remember, we've got our workspace here, so we need to turn that to the left hand side away from it. So we're still using our workspace, and we do a corner swap algorithm on the, to swap the, these two on the right hand side. So once again, it's R2, U, R2. U prime R2, U prime D, R2, U prime R2, U, R2. Bring the bottom layer back to where it goes, and as you can see, we've got all our top layer corners are now solved. So I'll line them up with where they live, so we've got everything in the right position, and see if we've got any opposite edge swaps on the top layer. It doesn't look like we have. So what I'll do is I'll do an adjacent edge swap with the blue and red here and that'll put the blue position in place making sure of course once again that we keep our workspace on the right hand side and the algorithm for this you should know from the domino so R2, U, R2, U, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. And that puts the blue in place. So now we can do an opposite piece edge swap with the red to bring that in position. So that'll be R2, U2, R2, U2, 
R2 U2 that brings that into place and finally we've got the orange and green to do an adjacent edge swap um, making sure to keep it in the workspace so orange on the front green on the right hand side and R2 U R2 U R2 U2 R2 U2 R2 U R2 U prime R2 and that's it that's everything solved now you may occasionally come into this situation this parity situation as we see here they've got the two red pieces swapped onto the orange side two orange pieces swapped onto the red side now if you know the parity algorithm for the 3x3x4 three by three by this is very similar to that just as easy to do um, but because you've got the extra layer all you do is this, you split the 2U uh, above the centre layer so you do a 2U 2R 2F 2U 2U 2F 2R 2U and that fixes it that's the easy way to solve that um, just the same as you do on a 3x3x4 by by but as I said you just split it above the centre layer and that gets rid of the priority situation so that's it that's the 3x3x5 three by three by all solved um, many more tutorials coming up so please subscribe and click like if you like my videos that way you'll be notified of any new tutorials that I bring out along with unboxings and reviews that I do as well and yeah please leave a comment if you've got any questions or, or anything you'd like to say about my videos and I'll see you next time take care now